Hello and welcome to the session on Problem Behavior Theory by Richard Jesher. The word problem can simply be defined as the situation that is unsatisfactory and cause difficulty for us. The problem also can be defined as a matter or situation or person regarded as unwelcome or harmful and need to be dealt with and overcome. From this notion, we can conclude that the situation which is not favor to us must be dealt carefully and immediately. The problem can be defined in other way that an inquiry begins from the given situation to investigate or demonstrate a fact, a result or a law. From this definition, the problem can be conceived that it is an inquiry begins on the repercussions of different phenomena of a life. Knowingly or unknowingly, the results of our actions and responses related to the environment become the problem of a life. The word problem is not always being seen as complex and complicated. The minute, mild and small unwelcome and unwanted moment also can be said as the problem and hence the domain of the risk behavior not always the traditional complex problems such as drug use and aggression. The inadequate social role performance, poor academic progress, health compromising behavior, insufficient exercises, poor dietary, mental health difficulties such as depression, frustration and anxiety also can be considered to be the problem behavior. Initially, there were no clear cut ideas on the type and nature of problem behavior until Richard Jesher posited problem behavior theory. Problem behavior theory. The problem behavior theory was originally proposed by Richard Jesher in the year 1977, but the two important theories form the basis for the development of this problem behavior theory. The Rotter social learning theory by 1954 and the Merton's concept of anomie by 1957 were the two important concepts laid foundation to the problem behavior theory, especially the concept of value and expectation from the Rotter social learning theory was conceived as the prime idea to conduct research on the problem behavior. This particular framework was first applied over the alcohol abuse and other problem behavior in the tri-ethnic community in southwestern of Colorado in the year 1968. Consecutively, the framework was applied to the problem behavior and psychological development of junior high school adolescents and college youth after revision in the year 1977. Jesher involved in two subsequent researches and took over a traditional survey of junior and senior high school youth with special reference to alcohol and drug use in 1978, 80 and 83. Thus, it was a research based on the longitudinal study which was concluded over three decades and attained transformation from problem behavior identification to the health compromising and health enhancing behavior in youth, the conceptual skeleton. The structure of problem behavior theory is comprehensive at the same time it has a complex conceptual structure also. The problem behavior theory defines problem behavior as the behavior which gives us some sort of problem to the society or the society seen some actions as uncomfortable or unfavorable or inconvenient 
which usually cause negative response. Jescher identified the following factors under three systems related to the instigation factor, influential personality and influential behavior as follows. Perceived environment. This system include environmental factors that influence problem behavior, instigation factors within the system include peers that support problem behavior or encourage in problem behavior, parents who do not disapprove of problem behavior, minimal parental support and control over adolescent, lack of positive parental influence. The next one is personality system. It includes factors within the individual that can contribute to problem behavior. So, influential personality traits include low self esteem, low value on academic achievement, low religiosity, enjoying being alone and high value of independence. The next one is behavior system. It includes that contribute to problem behavior. Influential behavior includes experimental or regular use of substances, risky sexual activity, irresponsible driving. Now, we let move to the three system under problem behavior theory in the detailed manner. Jescher identified three important structures as influencing the problem behaviors in human. The elaborated factors involved in these structures may be internal or external in terms of an individual. The factors or variables involved in the systems are as follows. The perceived environmental system includes two important structure. The one is distal structure and another one is proximal structure. Distal structure includes parental support, parental controls, friends supports, friends control, parent and friends compatibility, parent and friends influence. Proximal structure, parent approval problem behavior, friends approval problem behavior friends models problem behavior. Will it move to personality system? Motivational instigation structure includes value on academic achievement, value on independence, value on affection, independence and achievement value discrepancy, expectation for academic achievement, expectation for independence, expectation of affection. Personal belief structure includes social criticism, alienation, self-esteem, internal and external locus of control. Personal control structure includes attitudinal tolerance of deviance, religiosity, positive and negative functions discrepancy. The behavior system, the first structure problem behavior includes marijuana use, sexual intercourse, active protest drinking, problem drinking, general deviant behavior, multiple problem behavior index, conventional behavioral structure, church attendance and academic performance. Development transition. The problem behavior theory identified a logical pattern for the development behavioral change. By the deductive over the decade level longitudinal study, it has been found that behavioral problems in youth are due to the age related norms and the age related expectations. What behavior are prohibited as problem behavior at the adolescent period? The same behavior is considered as right in the adulthood. For instance, the physical or sexual contact is permitted at adulthood, but it is considered as a problem behavior at adolescence. Thus, engaging in certain behavior for the first time requires some age. When there is contradiction of the age, it becomes problem behavior according to this theory. The developmental transition plays pivotal role in involving behavior as less mature to more mature, younger to older and adolescence to youth or adults. 
social environment through problem behavior theory. Based on the adequate sociological and criminological explorations out of review of related literature, Jesher concluded that the conceptual differentiation of the social environment into the following three structures, opportunity structure, normative structure and the social control structure, opportunity structure. This type of social structure helps the learners to constitute opportunities so as to involve in the process of achieving the goals. The main deviant behavior found in this structure put an attempt towards achieving the goals, normative structure. The normative structure indicates the lack of agreement on appropriate ways of behaving. The concept of anomie was posited to constitute low normative control against engaging in problem behavior. Social control structure. The balance between elicit and the control of behavior in any given situation is generalized to determine the prevalence of problem behavior. From this theoretical perspective, the structure of the environment is considered to be the most important orientation in reducing problem behaviors and enhancing life skills. An individual through problem behavior theory. Despite the social structure classified based on the problem behavior, it was possible to identify the variance of group level problem behavior. For example, the intergroup variation was possible through deviant behavior and social structures, but identifying intragroup variation in the social structures is not possible. Hence, an analysis was also made by Jesher at individual level, under which also he identified and confirmed three structures at individual level problem behavior as follows. The perceived opportunity structure. As per the theory of Rotter's social learning, the value and expectations play pivotal role in setting at the valued goal. Since the individual assumes that the behavior is an opportunity, it sets the particular behavior as positive to set the goals. The second one is personal belief structure. The belief in internal versus belief in external control of an individual and its elimination together constitute the personal belief structure. This type of structure falls under cognitive social variable. Personal control structure. The deviant behavior such as attitudinal intolerance constitute the personal control structure. Not only this personal control structure, gesture puts almost all the three of the above stated individual classifying structures under socio-cultural environmental systems. Variables of problem behavior theory. There were three group of variable played predominant role in problem behavior theory. The one is antecedent background variables. The second one is social psychological variables and the third one is social behavioral variables. The background variables laid foundation to open the socialization system and a different social structure. The social psychological variables form the basis for the personality system and perceived environmental system. The social behavioral variables form the behavior system. Out of the three variables, the antecedent background variables and the social psychological variables have interdependency. In the same way, the systems such as demography, socialization, personality system and perceived environment system altogether render behavior system. The demographic structure is the base for all other structure and systems of the problem behavior theory. The detailed classification of the variables can be seen here under. Demographic social structure, father's education, father's occupation, father's religious group, mother's education, mother's religious group, 
Howling's head index and family structure. The variables under socializations are parental ideology, maternal traditional beliefs, maternal religiosity, maternal tolerance of deviance, paternal traditional beliefs, paternal religiosity, home climate, maternal controls regulations, maternal affectional interaction, peer influence, friends interest, media influence and involvement with television. Risk and protective factors. After the series of study as the great brainchild of problem behavior theory, Jesher identified many risk factors and protective factors in 1998. The behaviors which encompass beyond problem behavior are categorized under risk behavior. The protective role operates only when the risk factor exists, especially the protective factors play pivotal role to the risk factor when aggressive through progress pro-social behavior, positive behavior and development behavior. The interrelationship and classification of the risk and protective factors are as follows types of risk and protective factors. The first one is biology or genetic factor under which family history of alcoholism is a risk factor and high intelligence is a protective factor. Under social environment, poverty, normative anomaly, racial inequality and illegitimate or opportunity are the risk factor. Quality school cohesive family, neighborhood resources and the interested adult are the protective factors. Under perceived environment, models for deviant behavior, parent friends normative conflict are the risk factor, models for conventional behavior and high controls against deviant behavior are the protective factors. Personality, low perceived life chances, low self-esteem, and risk taking propensity or the risk factor, value on achievement, value on health and the tolerance of deviance are the protective factors. Under behavior, problem drinking and poor school working are the risk factor, church attendance is the protective factor. Risk behaviors or lifestyles, problem behavior, illicit drug use, delinquency, drink driving, health related behavior, unhealthy eating, tobacco use, sedentariness and non-use of safety belt, school behavior, truancy, dropout and drug use at school. Then we let move to risk outcomes, health diseases, illness, lowered fitness or the outcomes related to health. Social roles, school failure, social isolation, legal trouble, early child carrying or this type of risk outcomes. Personal development, inadequate, self-concept skills, depression and suicide. Preparation of adulthood, limited work, skills, unemployability and amotivation. Problem behavior syndrome. According to problem behavior theory, an adolescent who exhibit problem behaviors or any risk taking behavior, example alcohol and drug use, truancy, delinquency is said to have problem behavior syndrome. Based on his research, Jesher suggested that even when an adolescent exhibits only one or two problem behaviors, the possibility of developing more over time is quite sure. Adolescents with the problem behavior syndrome might have substance abuse issues, educational underachievement, unemployment and a high rate of suicide than adolescents who do not have problem behavior syndrome. Experimental versus patterned behavior, it is important to get clear between the concepts of 
experimental behavior and the patterned behavior without any ambiguity. The following two case studies would help you to get mastery over the experimental behavior and patterned behavior. The first one is exhibits experimental behavior and the second one evidences patterned behavior. Case study 1. Swiss is a 15 year old had been to two parties where she has engaged in alcohol use. She has also tried marijuana once, but did not like it. She has been sexually active with her long term boyfriend for several months, but they have always used protection. Despite these behaviors, she stays active with her basketball team, keeps her grades up and maintains employment. Case study 2. Ben was a 16 year old, started drinking at the age of 13. At first, he drank occasionally, but then he turned into every weekend. By the age of 15, he started smoking cigarettes and using marijuana. He occasionally started skipped schools, but his grades were never affected, even he had been sexually active with five different scales at the age of 16. Let us summarize what we have discussed so far. The problem behavior theory which was evolved out of a half century of cumulative work and hoped that it contributed to knowledge and understanding about adolescence along the way. The current protection and risk formulation were predicted on fundamental social psychological process that lie beneath behavior and shape the path of development both positively and negatively. The explanations on the social models, social and personal controls, social supports, contextual opportunity, personal vulnerability and post engagement in risk, health and pro-social behaviors were very useful in understanding. Problem behavior theory Although the early focus of problem behavior theory was on the problem behavior only, its application to pro-social domains including health enhancing behavior had been equally informative. This is not really be surprising as the criminologist Albert Cohen pointed out that a theory of deviant behavior not only must account for the occurrence of deviant behavior. It must also account for its failure to occur or conformity. This wide scope of problem behavior theory was the great legacy to the history of developmental and behavioral science approach to inquiry. Another important potential course to tail is the acquisition of a deeper understanding on the developmental context and the social context of adolescent's life. It is now very clear for us that the standard demographic attributes that revealed in the theory as social addresses are too distal to be helpful. Developing a more sensitive and a differentiated theoretical language to describe the context of adolescence daily life, one must capture the learning and rewards and opportunities in a better way and the sanctions that exist in those settings and should yield a stronger grasp on the role of social environment than we have yet achieved. Finally, more and deeply probing on the phenomenology of adolescence developmental and social context, certainly the legacy of this theory would enrich understanding on their problem behavior. Thank you for watching this program. Have a nice day.